know you watched the game with Jordan, but uh, what were your takeaways from the U.S.'s huge win over Panama? Uh, yeah, solid win. Um, you know, it was a an attacking lineup, and you know it paid off. You know, sometimes attacking lineups can can hurt you, but you know I thought the the tactical piece that that the coaching staff brought to the team was uh, was great. You know, they were unafraid of of going going after Panama. Um, they thought that they would, might might sit back. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, what, that wasn't the case. But um, yeah, I thought uh, tactically they were they were very sound. Uh, what does Bruce do um, to get you guys focused and ready for, for huge games? I think he puts a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, and I think that's that's uh, that's a that's what the I mean, playing for the national team that that's what it does. It, it puts pressure on you. It, it gives you responsibility. You know, you have a whole nation that's that's watching you. So there's a lot of pressure, and you know, guys are committed to 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 the team, um, and he he brings a good team um, you know every camp he, he brings a team that all has the same goal all these players want to win and, and, and want to do everything possible for the team and you know if you have those selfless guys on the team you're you're bound to be successful it's crazy flooding in Trinidad with the rain coming down there what are the challenges of playing on a field that's so waterlogged like that yeah just I mean playing in Trinidad is no joke um, you know all these CONCACAF teams are are incredibly hard to play at home. Um, you know the atmosphere, whether the field, you know the the conditions, everything. You know it just makes it more difficult. But you know having a swamp on your field doesn't help. Uh, you know the the game might not be pretty. Uh, I don't know how much the water has cleared up, but uh, if there are still puddles, you know it, it might be a little bit difficult to to play. You know good good football. Last year during the playoffs and going into the playoffs, you guys had injuries, guys having to step up, guys playing through injuries. Do you feel like kind of at this point in the season this year, you guys are a little bit more set up physically to take on the grind coming up here? Yeah, I, I mean, I think we're missing two really, really big guys on our team. You know, Ozzy, the heart of our team, Jordan, you know, the speed, the committed, the young young guy that we have, um, you know, he, we, we those two guys, uh, you know, make our team so much better. Um, but like you said, um, you know, other than those two, maybe Brad. Brad is, uh, again, another guy that's uh, committed to the team. You know, he has been our captain for a long time um, and just, you know, can't, can't catch a break. But, you know, we have pretty good depth, I think. Um, you know, this year we have Victor, we have Lamar, you know, we have Harry who, who hasn't played very much lately. But those guys are all, you know, <laughs> quality guys and can be put in a lineup uh, at any point. And, you know, going into the playoffs, you need those guys. Um, last year we saw Eric Freiber coming in and then Ivanchitz coming off the bench or Flacco coming off the bench. So, yeah, a, a bit a bit different for sure um, because I think we have much uh, much better players, you know, throughout our, our roster. You guys played Dallas a couple of weeks ago in a 0-0 job. What did you learn from that match that you can use uh, hopefully this Sunday? Yeah, well, they're, they're a quality team. You know, they they catch you on the break. Um, you know, they have Diaz who who makes the game for them. So you have to be, uh, you know, always aware of where he's at. And, uh, you know, their back line is pretty strong in my opinion. You know, they, they have big guys that, that are physical, um, but they, they like to play. And, and that's, that's the biggest thing, you know, on the road, it's going to be difficult for them to play. So we have to take it to them and, and make them defend because that's not their game. You guys had a few days off after the um, game in Philadelphia. Uh, last week and now heading into this weekend against Dallas. What have you guys been working on in the, in the last couple of days um, heading into this weekend? I think first of all, we, we wanted to get our bodies right. We wanted to um, take a little break. Then when we came back, you know, we worked on not losing our fitness and, and just being technically sound. Um, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of fun and, and a lot of playing. Um, you know, we don't have all the guys here. Some guys are with the, the national team. Some guys are with S2. So it's, uh, it's been a, a mixed group. But, you know, tactically, it's the same thing. You know, we, we've been trying to train on, you know, individual, uh, you know, pl playing, running off the ball, and, and, and that's been, you know, the key for us the last, last couple of weeks.